It's really, it's really good. It's just great movement. It just really maximizes your movement. The jump cancel fastball, um, it's basically just like jump and then flick the control stick down. And then within two frames, uh, flicking the stick down, you gotta let go of the jump button. Definitely something that takes, I wanna say months of just practice uh, to start, develop con start to develop consistency. You can do it stationary where you're not really moving. Or like if you're dashing and you input it, you're gonna do it with like some momentum. So you see how I'm like moving forward slightly? All because of the dash. It's also really good for like double jump cancel fastball, like shifting your momentum. So like if you, whenever you double jump, you have the option of, you know, changing your momentum, altering your momentum. So you can do that to make like a zigzag with, uh, in combination with jump cancel fastball. Um, and you can, if you have tap jump, it's actually a lot easier. I've been using it at the ledge a lot. So like whenever I do ledge get up, uh, whenever I pick an option, sometimes I'll pick jump, but instead of just like jumping over my opponent like this, you know, or like, you know, maybe even double jumping like that, I'll like, I'll do this or my bad. Like that, like I'll just drop down with a jump cancel fastball and I'll grab them. Of course you can mix it up, like you can delay it. You can delay it, you can like double jump to like, like drop in place rather than having forward momentum. It's really good. Um, I wanna say like if the opponent's on a platform, uh, oftentimes they will shield, right? Because like Peach is like threatening like down here with like up air. You know, so like they're gonna shield. And so what I've been able to do constantly is like, I'd, I'd, I'd do this. And it's just really fast. It's way faster than like wave landing and then grabbing them. It's just way faster. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So like jump cancel fastball, it's so good. But the reason being like, if you're on a platform, you know, if you wanna get on off the platform, right? You either have to be standing or walking to like drop through it. But um, if you're shielding, like you have to drop shield and then go like go down, right? Well, that's not really the case with jump cancel fastfall. Since you can jump out of shield, just like after you jump out of shield, hold the jump button uh, and then, you know, flick the control stick down with it. Basically, all I'm trying to say is just jump cancel fastfall out of shield like that. Just like that. There is such a thing as short hop, jump cancel, fastball. Um, so I'll go back to the platform stuff in a moment. If you press two jump buttons at the same time, and I think this is true for every character. Um, in case you guys didn't know, if you press jump um, on two buttons at the same time, you actually do a short hop, even if you hold the jump buttons. So like, so I'm, I'm gonna be pressing like L and then Y. You like, you just do a short hop. So you can do that and do like a short hop jump cancel fastball. Doing like doing it at a shield, just regular, regular, you like, you get too much height that you don't go down the platform fast enough. But with a short hop jump cancel fastball, just get off the platform, go through the platform so much faster. Um, unfortunately, when you're running on a platform, you also can't just drop through it by pressing down, right? So that's where jump cancel fastball comes in. So jump cancel fastball, if you're dashing, you can just like jump and, you know, JCFF through the platform. It's like that. Um, and I think it's faster, again, if you do the short hop jump cancel fastball variation. It's a lot faster, actually. I've also been doing it with Nair, jump cancel, fastfall, aerial. So it's like, like that. And it still combos into things. Yeah, so it still combos. Doing it with like back air, you actually don't really need 
jump cancel fast fall. It is a little faster if you do jump cancel fast fall, but you don't really need it. You just gotta hold down. So if like if you if you're floating, you know, and you're you're already holding down, if you input an aerial with a C stick, it's just gonna automatically fast fall for you. Um, and that applies with up air, forward air, and back air. Um, it doesn't work with down air. Down air just regular falls, you know, just no fast fall. Um, so if you want to do the jump can, if you want to do the fast falling down air, you're gonna have to do the jump cancel fast fall. Uh, so it'd be like that. <laughs> 